Just like blogging, video isn't something that you should do once and then be done with. To make it work, you need to figure out how to make video over and over again. But making video can be intimidating, especially making lots of video. That's why we invited our good buddy Rand from Moz to walk us through how they make a video every single week. At Moz, we've tackled this by creating a weekly video series called Whiteboard Friday. Here's some of the tips and tricks that we've learned that help make producing those videos easier. In the Moz Studios, we place constraints on ourselves so we don't have to make big decisions about every video every week. Every Whiteboard Friday takes the same format. There's a Mozer or a featured guest who stands in front of, you guessed it, a whiteboard every week. Sometimes we draw on the whiteboard, sometimes we don't, but there's never any question about how we present the material. Removing creative decisions makes it easier to focus on the content and removes a ton of pre-production work. That's actually the secret behind the Wistia gray screen. Shh. Writing and reading scripts is hard work. So for Whiteboard Friday, we just don't do it. It makes for, yes, the occasional um and ah, but it also makes for a more human, more authentic performance. And we're, uh, you know, okay with that. We go into each Whiteboard Friday with a set of talking points and often, a lot of points on the whiteboard itself. And we never give a perfect performance, but it works out fine and it adds to the authenticity of the video. Here's the dark secret of Whiteboard Friday. We film it all in one take. This means that editing is super simple. We just roll with most of the mistakes. And of course you have the safety net that if you screw it up really big time, you can just start over and film it again. We take the video, put a bumper at the beginning and at the end, upload it to Wistia, and we're done. No script, no editing? <laughs> Next you're gonna tell me you don't even have a studio. Actually, we've got a conference room that we've turned into a studio. We put sound boards on the sides, lighting in there, have a camera all set up to go, so it's really easy and there's no setup. Plus, it maintains aesthetic consistency throughout the video series. Try simplifying your setup so you can just jump in front of the camera and go. If it's a hassle to get things set up, it's gonna be a lot harder to make a lot of video. Just like the name says, we launch Whiteboard Friday every week on Friday. Our community knows it's coming and our audience loves that consistency. The Moz team keeps a master list of all the ideas that we've got for Whiteboard Friday. So when we walk in to film it, we basically look at the list, see what's hot in the marketing world and what topic we want to address, go draw it up on the whiteboard and film the piece. This makes it super easy to maintain that schedule. Okay, so the final takeaways are, shoot in front of a whiteboard, do everything in one take, and name my series Something Fridays. I think I got this. Is that right, Rand? No, 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 no. It's not about the exact format. It's about removing barriers and simplifying the process. And by the way, Chris, if you steal my patented whiteboard stick, I will come for you. Oh no, Rand, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dream of it. Howdy, Wistia friends, and welcome to the first episode of Blackboard Mondays. <laughs>